Hello everyone, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Alita Battle Angel. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. In the year of 2563, human society is altered greatly after a war from 300 years ago. Humanity is separated into those who live like gods on the flying city of Zalem and those less fortunate struggling to survive on the ground. Zalem throws the city's garbage onto the people below, and many would scavenge the leftovers, hoping to find anything of value that can better their lives. One of those people is Dr. Dyson Ido, who finds a humanoid head amongst the garbage that intrigues him greatly. He brings the robot home and begins repairing her, reattaching a completely new body onto the woman, trying to resurrect her in the process. The girl eventually wakes up and is surprised to see her newly functional limbs. She walks towards the mirror and looks at her new body in amazement. The girl meets the doctor downstairs, who's glad that she's awake, and shows extreme care about the cyborg's well-being. Dr. Ido gives the girl food after the long slumber, but only finds out that the cyborg doesn't remember anything about her past, not even her own name. He tries to comfort her by showing her the city, and the girl quickly notices the large flying structure hovering above the people. She wants to go there immediately, but the doctor tells her that no one from below is allowed to step into the city of Zalem, and it's been like that for 300 years. The girl wants the doctor to give her a name, and the man decides to call her Alita, who was no doubt someone very important to him in the past. The girl continues to tour around the city, and eventually meets a young man named Hugo, who she takes a liking on first sight. The man's also intrigued by her robotic limbs, and promises to show her around the town. Hugo shows Alita to the most popular game in the city called Motorball, and decides to teach her to play the game while introducing the girl to his friends. They begin the first round, and Alita is able to learn to maneuver very quickly as they go back and forth on the stadium. The girl manages to master her movements and steals the ball from one of the players while knocking the man to the ground. Alita takes the chance to score the point easily as everyone cheers for her name. Hugo is surprised to see her skills and tells her that she should consider the real game in the future. The young man takes the girl to his favorite location, a vantage point that overlooks the entire city. Alita is amazed by how the city looks from above, but the man tells her that the better view is what lies in the sky. Hugo reveals that his goal is to go to Zalem, and he plans to do everything he can to achieve his dream. At night, Alita fails to fall asleep, still thinking about her time with Hugo, but notices that Dr. Ido is leaving the house while carrying a large suitcase. She decides to follow the man and find out where he's going in the middle of the night, only to see that Ido is preparing to strike down a helpless woman by ambushing her from behind the walls. Alita immediately stops him from committing murder, but realizes that the woman has disappeared into thin air. A large man slowly appears from behind and calls the doctor a hunter-warrior, which confuses the girl even more. Another man appears as he jumps down from the rooftop and begins threatening the two while sounding like the Joker. The doctor begins attacking the cyborg and manages to cut off one of his arms, but the opponent is able to strike back immediately and knocks Ido to the floor. Surprisingly, the girl jumps towards the enemy and kicks him to the ground. She punches the man's face repeatedly until the cyborg ceases to function. The woman from before appears as well, and reveals that she's also one of the assassins. She attacks the main character using her blades, trying desperately to slice Alita into pieces. The assassin charges towards the girl by launching at her, but Alita is able to counter and kicks the opponent onto the wall. The girl jumps towards her enemy and kicks her on the head, breaking the woman's neck as the body drops on the ground. The large man reveals that he's a giant machine and tries to punch Alita using a man's power, but the girl is able to dodge the attacks and jumps onto the ceiling. She stares at the large man and prepares to attack, eventually jumping down with a devastating kick that cuts off the man's arm in a single strike. She then takes the doctor's hammer and continues to knock the large man backwards, forcing him to escape into the sewers. Alita goes with the doctor towards the collection center, and the man explains that instead of using the police, the factories pay bounty hunters to kill criminals who are listed. The girl wonders why the man would choose to participate in something so dangerous, but Ido explains to her that he used to have a daughter who Alita is named after, and she was killed by the hands of a dangerous criminal. Ever since that day, Ido is trying to find the man responsible for his daughter's death. His compulsive need to avenge his daughter is also the reason why his wife Shiren left their marriage. 
At the same time, the doctor's ex-wife is trying to seduce a man named Victor using her female assets, as she desperately wants to return to Zalom, where she's originally from. The man only gives her obscure promises and tells her to give him better fighters for the motorball game that he runs. Shirin gets up from the bed, but notices someone outside her windows. Suddenly, a large man breaks into her room and crashes onto the floor. It turns out that the criminal's name is Gorishka, and he works for the woman and her lover, Victor. Shirin learns from the cyborg that Ido has adopted a robot girl, and she's single-handedly responsible for destroying their entire team. The woman tries to repair the cyborg right away, but the large man quickly becomes possessed by a greater power who speaks through him to the doctor. Victor immediately recognizes this person as Nova, a powerful figure from Zalem, who orders the couple to kill the girl and bring her body in for experimentation. Nova also takes over the doctor's lover and promises to return her to the flying city if she does exactly what he says in the future. Meanwhile, Hugo takes Alita to the motorball game where she sees the fighters in the ring destroy each other as they battle for the ball. She also learns that a person can eventually become a final champion by beating everyone consistently and be granted the privilege to go to Zalem. Before their conversation continues, Hugo's friends arrive and tells him that something has come up and the man says goodbye to Alita as he rushes off in a hurry. Moments later, one of the leading champions of the motorball game is attacked by a bunch of men and taken hostage inside their vehicle where they cut off the man's weapon by force. It turns out that the gang's leader is Hugo, who also works under Victor as he provides weapons for the man while receiving cash. They leave the body of the motorball player with Victor, and the man reveals that he cannot allow anyone to become the final champion as no one must be allowed to go to Zalem. The next day, Hugo brings Alita away from the city as they travel into the countryside where they eventually arrive at the lake in front of a large warship. Apparently, the aircraft is from the United Republic of Mars who attacked the city of Zalem during the war 300 years ago. Alita immediately feels a connection towards the ship and jumps into the water, trying to go inside as it may reveal the truth about her past. The girl manages to enter the ship and eventually makes it into the weapons room where she sees a metallic body that she feels a strong mental connection to. Moments later, Alita is able to bring the body outside towards her friends as everyone looks at her in amazement. The girl wants the doctor to combine her with the new technology as this will allow her to fight any threat that may come their way in the future. Ido refuses immediately, explaining that Alita is originally a Martian berserker made purposely to destroy Earth in the war, and this is why he can't unite her with the body as he doesn't want the girl to resume her previous programming. Alita is heartbroken by the doctor's mistrust and refusal to help, which prompts her to leave and find her own way through this journey. The girl goes to the collection center and applies to become one of the bounty hunters. She then rushes into the local bar alongside Hugo, where all the hunters are gathered, and tries to ask for their help against Gorishka. However, her proposition is met by ridicule as her enemy lacks any bounty, obviously protected by people with power. A hunter warrior named Zapan tries to embarrass her and mock her efforts, which quickly results in a fight. But Alita is able to defeat the man and sends him flying across the room, telling him that he doesn't deserve the sword that he carries, which is also Martian technology. Their skirmish causes the other bounty hunters to become hostile, and they begin attacking Alita one after the other, forcing the girl to fight and defend her life. Dr. Ido rushes into the bar, only to see chaos in the making, and quickly stops everyone by threatening to not give out any more free repairs. He demands to speak with Alita, but the front door crashes open, revealing a giant figure that appears to be Gorishka, who's clearly undergone multiple upgrades. The man attacks Alita using his new weapons and forces the girl to retreat temporarily. Gorishka taunts Alita to follow him as he breaks the floor and jumps into the sewers. The main character chases behind where she arrives into a large underground structure that's full of garbage. She sees the giant cyborg and proceeds to attack furiously, eventually using her kick just like before, but fails to break the man's arm after the upgrades. Gorishka launches the grind cutters which forces Alita to run for her life, but she manages to dodge the attacks and charge forwards, kicking her enemy right in the face. Gorishka's new weapon appears to be extremely hard to deal with as the girl has trouble closing the distance against her enemy. Alita launches a final attack as she leaps towards the giant man, against the numerous cutters heading her way. 
but her body gets cut into pieces before she can reach her enemy. Garishka approaches the girl while laughing maniacally as Alita tries getting up using one arm. With a last attempt to strike back, the girl launches herself towards the giant using one arm and pierces the man right in the eye. Garishka screams in pain and tries to finish off Alita, but the doctor and his team arrives just in time and they were able to chase away the giant cyborg using their combined attacks. Ido takes the girl back to the laboratory and decides to fix her using the Martian body, not willing to see Alita get hurt in the future. The results were better than expected as the girl demonstrates incredible abilities after equipping the Berserker body, which amazes even the doctor himself. Meanwhile, Nova sees that Grishka has failed once again and decides to implement a different strategy against the girl. He meets with Hugo and begins asking the man about his friend, promising to send him to Zalem if he's able to convince Alita to join the motorball games. The next morning, Hugo tries to convince the girl to participate in the games, stating that she can make enough money for both of them to go to Zalem. Alita agrees without thinking, believing everything the man says as she's obviously blinded by love. What they don't realize is that Zapan is spying on them from afar, and plans to seek vengeance for the humiliation that he received earlier. At night, Alita prepares to join the tryouts with the help of Dr. Ido, who tells her to be very careful as it can be very dangerous in the tournament. She tells the old man to not worry as she feels pretty confident with her new berserker body. On the other side, Victor tells every one of the competitors to destroy Alita and promises to give them a large amount of money for the person that takes her head. Alita arrives at the stadium and prepares to commence the game, but she begins noticing the hostility from all the players and realizes that something is wrong. She rushes away from the group as everyone begins attacking her and chasing her from behind, but the girl is able to counter the attacks and disable many of the opponents. However, the players continue to chase her, disregarding the game entirely, while Alita tries desperately to survive their onslaught one after the other. At the same time, Hugo runs into Zapan who desires to kill him in order to take vengeance on the main character. The hunter kills one of the cyborgs and plans to frame the man, while chasing after him as a bounty appears under Hugo. Hugo's name. The man tries desperately to escape the hunter warrior and arrives inside a bridge, where he calls Alita for help, telling her that he'll try to escape and meet her at the church. The girl hears this and quickly rushes outside the arena while being chased by the remaining players. Alita tries her best to avoid the attackers while heading towards Hugo, but eventually gets captured by the warriors as she gets slammed to the ground. The two fighters try to kill Alita right away, but she manages to break free, causing the female assassin to be killed by her teammates. She then ties the final attacker using a metal chain, and throws him into a large grinder that drags the robot into the machine and tears him into pieces. Alita makes it to Hugo just in time and stops the hunter warrior from killing her friend, but becomes shocked when she sees a bounty on the man's head. Hugo tries to explain that he was framed, but Alita finds it hard to forgive him after learning that he was stealing parts from people like herself. Zapan takes the opportunity in their arguments and stabs Hugo in the stomach, causing Alita to cry and rush in to save her friend. She carries Hugo away from the hunters, trying to escape inside the church. The man apologizes profusely to his friend and admits what he did was wrong. He tells her that he planned to quit tonight as he realizes that he loves Alita more than going to Zalem. Shirin arrives at the location and sees the two lovers on the floor. The woman is moved by their love for each other, changing her mind about capturing Alita and plans to help them escape. After some time, Alita comes outside of the church while carrying Hugo's head, but Zapan realizes that she's keeping the man alive using her own blood. Alita takes the hunter's sword and slashes the man's face, causing Zapan to scream in pain while she walks away from the hunters, disguising Hugo as her kill. Back at the laboratory, Ido was able to save Hugo by combining his head with a machine body, and explains to Alita that Victor was lying to her friend from the very beginning since no one can go to Zalem except for the final champion. The main character feels extremely guilty for her friend's current situation, and plans to use her powers to make things right. Alita rushes into Victor's apartment and plans to take vengeance for Hugo, but the attempts were stopped by Grishka who strikes her in the torso using the grind cutter. However, it turns out that Alita's body is able to self-repair and she destroys the robot's tentacles with her sword and cuts the man in half, finally ending the killer's life. She demands Victor to show her Nova, and the man becomes possessed while his eyes turn blue. Nova congratulates the girl for killing his team and achieving so much, but warns her that unlike herself, her friends and family are not so invulnerable. 
The girl kills Victor with anger and warns the men to not underestimate her. But Nova only laughs and tells Alita that he's looking forward to seeing her soon. She receives a message from Idol who tells her that Hugo has run off by himself, trying to climb onto the flying city through the wires. Alita runs to Hugo immediately as he tries to ascend into Zalem, and tells him that this is a trap set by Nova in order to kill them both. Hugo explains that he has nowhere to run now as there's a bounty on him in the city, and going to Zalem is the only choice. Their conversation is cut short when the city's defense ring is activated and rushes towards them in blinding speed. Hugo tries to jump over the ring but is quickly cut into pieces. Alita follows closely behind and she's able to catch the men in the last moment. However, Hugo's arm begins falling apart and he thanks Alita for saving his life before eventually falling to his death, causing the girl to scream in agony. After her friend's demise, Alita continues to battle in the motorball games, quickly becoming a contender for the final champion. She goes onto the stage where everyone is cheering for her name, and the girl points her weapon at Zalem, expressing her conviction to find Nova, while the mad scientist looks back at her from the flying city. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.